Hey, denture wearers. How's it going? It's your favorite teeth. Today I wanted to do a video about um, being a denture wearer and living on a busy schedule. Um, not all of us um, have the time or remember um, when we leave the house, say to go on a trip or if we're just going to work, to bring our, you know, our denture products with us. And some of our denture products are just way too big to be carrying around. Guy, um, I mean, usually men leave with just stuff that's in their pockets. Um, you can't necessarily put your denture bath in your pocket or your toothbrush in your pocket. So I've um, come up with a couple of different ideas to show uh, denture wearers um, how to carry uh, small items with them when they're going to work um, or say staying at a friend's house. Stay tuned to find out. The item I'm talking about um, that I'm going to recommend is um, the travel toothbrush. Even though this isn't a denture toothbrush, it's still a toothbrush and the bristles are soft enough to where it's not going to put any abrasiveness on your uh, denture. It's not going to scratch your dentures, especially just temporarily if you're going to work or say you're going camping or spending the night at a friend's house. Um, it's not going to do any damage unless you're really scraping your dentures um, really hard. Um, then you have your toothpaste that comes with it and this is the mini version just the travel size this is perfect to carry with you instead of just you know bringing a huge giant toothbrush with you your denture bath and all that now I have another item um, that I totally recommend but you have to use it wisely um, you can't be using it um, the pick area uh, this one's in the package so as well, but I'm going to pull it out because I have to show you this. It's genius. Okay, you have all seen these, right? See, they have the focus, focus. <laughs> they have the breath, the breath freshening stuff in the middle. I think I just poked that with my thumb. Okay. And it's considered to be like the toothpaste stuff that's made inside the toothbrush. Whoever thought about this is genius. You can even clean your tongue um, with this little brush. Okay, this is the um, Crest Scope. Uh, you don't even need water, it works with your saliva. So um, these are if you're in a hurry. Say you go out to dinner and you need to go and clean your denture, um, you know, just like if you were your real teeth. Um, the only thing that I would watch out for is the pit. Now, this is plastic, but it can still do some damage. Now, it, you can definitely get food out of your denture with this. Say you can't get it out with the, with the bristles. You're going to take your pick and just gently slide the food out of your denture. Then I would brush the denture um, very lightly with, the, with these bristles, though. But this is a great option uh, when you're on the run and you don't have your toothbrush with you or mouthwash and you just want to freshen your breath and get that garlic out of your mouth or get the food out of your teeth, especially if you eat salad. I know the salad likes to uh, stick to my teeth or any kind of bread, breads definitely do, um, like bagels or any kind of breads. So. What you would do with this now, um, now you're not going to sit there and try to get, you know, you shouldn't have any plaque in your, in your denture, but you want to gently grab the food with this little pet and just slide the food out. You're not going to want to grind in the denture or anything like that because um, you can loosen a tooth in there. So just lightly grab the, uh, the food or the particle that you're trying to get and just, and if it doesn't come out within a couple slides, then just wait till you get home or try to swish, um, try to swish with some water and see if that loosens it up. Because if it's really in there, you don't want to take this pick and, um, you know, accidentally get a tooth out with it. But this is, I, in my opinion, this is a great idea. 
I mean, it cleans your tongue, um, cleans your, your teeth, freshens your breath, and you can get your food particles out with it. Now, my next item is, uh, it's not a denture toothbrush as well. Uh, it's very hard to find a denture toothbrush that you can take with you anywhere, but it's this cool travel toothbrush. Um, it's not as small as the first one that I showed you, and it doesn't come with toothpaste, but it folds. As you can see here, it has hinges where it folds, and it has a grip there. They come in all different colors, pink, green, blue, uh, purple, so, but uh, it's made with, it's protected, let's see, protection that lives on microbands, so it helps prevent the growth of odor causing bacteria, keeping your toothbrush clean and fresh. So, uh, you know, like a lot of travel toothbrushes, you've got to throw them away when you get home because they can, you know, or soak them in bleach because um, they can get uh, bacteria if they, you know, stay for a while in the little container like this. So that can, but this is made with microband, which helps to keep that away. It's a great idea though. So say you're at work, um, and you, you need to go clean your dentures real quick. Uh, just take a quick five minute break, if even that. Grab this, it's very discreet because this slides inside there. So it just kind of looks like a like a pen or a marker or something. Um, you can even kind of hide it with your hand if you don't want anybody to know you're going to clean your teeth. And you go into the denture, or go, in, excuse me, go into the bathroom, denture, denture, and uh, clean your teeth. Rinse them off and clean your teeth and you're good to go. All right, my next items are, now unfortunately I haven't found any uh, small, small containers of like toothpaste and mouthwash for uh, denture wares. Um, hopefully uh, somebody can give me some recommendations. I know of a friend, another YouTuber friend, uh, she knows a company, I'm not sure how big the items are, so I don't want to mention them yet. Um, this is Colgate. Um, it's, it comes in all different kinds. It's got an easy little flip top here um, when, you, when it's opened. And it's just, uh, you know, again, this is a gel. It's not a paste. So, again, you know, you just want to use these when you're away from the home, from away from your house. You don't, you know, you're busy. You can't, you know, you can't get to your um, regular denture cleaner, okay? You can't, you don't have time to let your dentures sit out of your mouth overnight or for a couple hours, you know, you're away from the house. You don't even want to take your dentures out of your mouth for no more than a couple minutes to clean them. So, um, this here, it's very small, um, can fit in your pockets, 4.6 ounces. Um, now, for planes, um, I believe it has to be over four ounces, correct me if I'm wrong, but for planes it has to be four ounces, so, um, this would pass the test to take on a plane, um, but correct me if I'm wrong, I know, I know they change it, so, but, um, and again, it's abrasive, so you won't be wanting to use this all the time, it's just for on the run. Um, another thing is, I found this tiny mouthwash. This is 8.5. Um, oh, that's what it is. On the plane, it can't be over 4 ounces, I don't think. So that probably, that's that's 4.6. So I don't know why I thought about that. But just in case, you know, someone's traveling and going on the plane. Uh, yeah. Uh, anyways, uh, this is mouthwash. Um, it's, you know, 8.5, so you're going camping or just, you know, around the corner, driving a couple hours away, small. I mean, it's not that small, but there is other ones that are made that are, uh, you know, smaller in size. You can get, I'm just showing you this for an example. Um, you can get this at your family dollar or, you know, Walgreens or anything like that, or Rite Aid, whichever one's closest to you. My last one doesn't have really anything to do with, like, traveling. But um, say your lips get dry while you're out and, uh, and you know, you go to a different part of the U.S. or a different part of the world and your lips are dry. I want to, this stuff, I want to tell you, I love this stuff. 
and it's cheap. Um, you can get it for a couple bucks, if even that. Um, fits easily in your pocket. It's the lip balm, medicated lip balm. Um, doesn't really have a taste. It does kind of put a tingle on your lips if your lips are really dry. Um, so I, I really, I really like this stuff, and especially for an indenture wear. Um, you know, at first, you know, you're dealing with a lot of drooling because um, your mouth, you know, it's trying to get used to the new denture, so you're drooling a lot. Um, and this can cause chapped lips, um, especially at night, you know. Uh, you know, and you're supposed to take your dentures out at night. Um, some don't, some do, that each to their own, you know. Um, but the this is really good, especially, like, per se, at night when, you know, you're going to sleep. You take your dentures out, let them soak for the night. Um, you put this on and it'll help. It'll help moisturize your lips so you're not waking up with um, the chapped lips. Okay, and another, now this is just my idea, say that you, um, your mouth hurts or you just want to take your dentures out for, for a while. You want to sleep with, you know, without your dentures in your mouth or you just need to take them out for a while and you don't have your denture bath. What do you do? Well, you do this. This is just an extra pair of dentures that I have um, for the exam, you know, for this example. What I did is I took a paper towel and just get it damp. Okay, just get it damp. Actually, I took two of them. Get two damp paper towels. You fold them in half. Okay. Take your denture. You can put it, you know, wherever you want. Basically, what I do is I just fold, fold the denture up in the paper towel. And it's damp. And then you take your good old Ziploc baggies. These are the freezer ones that, you know, they turn green when you. So. Um, anyways. Um, I can't open the bag with one hand. It's not letting me in here. Ooh. So let's just pretend that I put that inside the bag. <laughs> uh, so I put the teeth inside of the paper towel. Moist paper towel. Now, now you don't want a drenched paper towel. Doesn't matter if it's cold or hot water. It does not matter. Um, just, you know, cool water is hot. Drain the paper towel of excess water, and you're going to wrap your dentures in, and then you're going to stick them inside the baggie. Okay? Perfect. Perfect. And another idea would be to... This wet paper towel, you could take some mouthwash and just add a couple drops of mouthwash to your paper towel. Your wet paper towel and then wrap your dentures up and then put your dentures inside this plastic baggie what this is doing is it's keeping your dentures fresh with the mouthwash it's keeping your dentures where they're not going to dry out while they're out of your mouth and while you do not have a denture bath with you so um it's genius it's an easy way keep your dentures on you and keep them safe um, from drying out when you're camping or visiting friends or just away from home. So, or say you don't have a denture bath, you can do this. Um, the idea came from my grandmother. She she wore dentures and from as long as I can remember, and she would do this. She would wrap her dentures up in a paper towel, uh, a wet paper towel, and uh, you know she would keep them in a denture bath too, but I would always see them in a wet paper towel because she never wanted to wear a denture. So, uh, but this keeps them nice and moist. So, um, the reason why we want to keep our dentures moist is because, it still has some comfort on it, but the dentures are made of acrylic or keratin, depending on what kind of dentures you have. And when that dries out, um, it can crack or get very brittle. So you want to keep them moist while they're out of your mouth. So when they're in your mouth, they're staying moist because you have saliva. So, um, okay. 
be right back. I'm back. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Hey, I gotta make this fun, right? I mean, I don't wanna be boring here. Okay, guys, well, if you have any other ideas on how to uh, travel with, you know, your dentures or any homemade ideas about, you know, when you leave and whatever you've done to, like, you know, uh, keep your dentures clean and moist and on the go, put them down in the box and discussion, or if you have any questions, uh, feel free to ask, and I will answer them. Um, hope everybody's having a great day, and I will be uploading another video here in a couple days. Uh, next one I'm going to do is about dry mouth indentures. Um, I noticed a lot of people have a dry mouth with their dentures, so um, hope you guys are doing great, and I will check you later.